today I have the pleasure of speaking with Alex Kleinman from Azincourt Energy. How are you today? I'm good, Tracy. Thanks for having me. Your volume has been incredibly high recently. Can you tell me what you attribute that to, Alex? Well, we've had a fairly liquid market for Asincorp for some time, but I, I think a lot of it has to do today, in particular with Cameco. Uh, I had a very good earnings call, I believe, this morning, and I think that uh, charged the market a little bit. So there was a, it's been building over the last week. Uh, we've seen some, uh, some volumes pick up on the Australian exchange for uranium holdings there. So it's starting to creep in here. The last few days have been up days, which is nice because we've been really in a middling uh, fair for the last, you know, really since November, December, up, down, up, down, red, green, red, green. So maybe a few green days is what we need in the sector to get everybody fired up again. And of course, Alex, I think anyone who's followed Asincourt Energy understands that you've been an exception to the rule. You are a critical material player and uranium and lithium. Would that be a correct way to introduce you to those that may not be following you yet? Yeah, we're primarily uranium, I and mean, we, we have a lithium project, a respective lithium project in Peru, which which is sort of on the back burner because everything's heated up here uh, in Canada in terms of the, uh, the uranium cycle and, and the Athabasca. So we're uh, in the middle of a drill program at our East Preston project. We just started that a week or so ago, and uh, we'll be uh, lots of news flow from there, and it's an exciting time for us. So for those of you out there, Athabasca Basin, we're talking uranium, and you just recently announced some drill results. Would you like to talk to us about the highlights? Well, Joe, yeah, the commencement of our drill program. Uh, no results at, at this point. We're, we're really just in the beginning, beginning, beginning stages. Uh, we're probably three or four holes in, five holes in. We're going to be doing uh, upwards of 30, 35 holes, uh, six to 7,000 meters. Um, and it's a big program. It's our biggest program to date, but we're well funded. And uh, the project is massive. It's 25,000 hectares. We've got about 30 kilometers worth of, of trends or target areas to drill. Uh, and this is really the first big pass that we've done in, in a portion of, of that ground. We had some, we've had, the spectrum has really swung on enthusiasm for uranium. It's kind of shown a life of its own. I know you're an expert in this sector. Would you like to comment on where you think this is going to go in 2022? Well, there's a, there's a lot of things uh, push and pull, right? We have a, we have a dynamic here, supply demand dynamic that's been um, fomenting for years. Uh, and that really, that the amount of, of, of reactors online coming online the build stage, the planning stage, are pretty much at record levels. Um, COVID, low spot prices, there's been a lot of reasons why production has been curtailed. So you've got that sort of push and pull going on. And then you also have uh, the fact that spot has finally woken up. We had a decade of low spot prices uh, late last year and over 2021, the, the spot price crept up towards $50 a pound. It's in the, in the mid to low 40s right now. Uh, and this is what the sector needs. Um, but most importantly, I think the demand from the U.S. utilities is at, is at and will be at, at an all-time high. I mean, they need to ink long-term contracts. And when they start to ink these contracts with the producers, the spot price is going to shoot through the roof. Because I can tell you that the, the producers didn't wait a, a tenure through a tenure bear market to sell cheaply uh, at the first sign of, of a of rejuvenated market. So, uh, and and so you'll see the spot for the spot price move as 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 the demand increases via these long term contracts. And I'm going to go ahead and if you could just quickly introduce Asincourt Energy to some investors out there that may now be looking at uranium for all the right reasons. Why Asincourt? Well, we're extremely well capitalized. We have uh, north of uh, 12 million in the bank uh, for a pre-discovery drill company, a drill stage company. That's a, that's a massive statement to make. Um, the reason we have such institutional support, I should mention there's at least 20 uh, funds, institutional funds that have invested in the company. And why they did that uh, is mainly a validation of the project that we're drilling at East Preston. We subsequently have picked up the second project, Hatchet Lake also in the Athabasca. And, uh, and honestly, uh, I think you have to be looking at discovery in a bull market as one of the pillars of a good portfolio. So how do you find that? You look for a, a drill stage company that's well capitalized, that has a sizable project uh, in the right area. And we have a 
billions in market cap surrounding us where we are in the Western Athabasca with our, our East Preston project. So those are the things you look for. And, and, and I urge people who are looking at this maybe for the first time to do their research, take a look at asincourtenergy.com. We've got a lot of information there, uh, but certainly um, uh, things going for us, we're well capitalized, we have a sizable project and we're drilling actively as we speak. Well, you heard it from Alex. I was going to recap the highlights, but you just did an excellent job. For those of you out there, if you're looking for more additional information, and I also urge you to go to the Azincourt Energy website because it's an excellent one, send it to us and we'll get you over to Alex and team. Thank you for joining us today, Mr. Klenman. Thank you, Tracy. Have a great day.